Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a June setup for my calendar and my budget and everything. I got a little happy mail and you know, I use Carla May's sticker, so that's what's over here. And I'm also gonna be answering some of your questions that you have been sending me. So thank you so much to everyone who sent me questions. I really appreciate it and I've been having so much fun thinking about them. You guys have showed up and definitely some of them have been some thinkers. Um, so I appreciate you guys. If you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. And I, my name is, <laughs> Hi, my name is my name is Lauren, and I am a seamstress, a cosplayer, and a dog mom. And I'm just trying to make my way to be debt free. That is what I'm doing. So, if you're a returning subscriber, hey, what's up? I hope you enjoy this video, and I appreciate you coming back. So, without a doubt, let's start the video. Okay, so let's open up my Happy Mail first, and then we'll get in into the setup. So this comes to me from Unique Life. Uh, if you had watched my video uh, a while ago, I think it was like weekly check-in, you'd have known I bought some things from her. So let's take out the goodies. And I did kind of open some of them. Well, just this, because I was like, oh, I won't open this until we're on camera. So here we go. <clears throat> I ordered little binders from her and there are 25 envelope savings challenges. And then I see I have lots of freebies, which thank you so much, Alba. I was so happy to receive this and as you can see, I couldn't wait to open it. So this is her card. It says, thank you for supporting my small business. And then it says, hi Lauren. Sorry, that was Enzo shaking in the back. Hi Lauren, you're such a sweetheart. I really appreciate you and it's such a blessing to have you be part of my journey. Thank you a million times and I hope you love the binders, Alba. Thank you so much. So she gave me little stickers. So I will definitely be adding these to probably some of my binders. So we have a little cake with a strawberry, how cute. A little cotton candy, looks like. Snow cone, how adorable. And two Hello Kitty stickers. Ah, uh, I love this. I can't wait for Halloween to use that. And I love to read, so that's perfect. So those are some of the little stickers she gave me. And then these are the little dots that go with the binders. And a little free envelope. A little free envelope. How cute. It kind of reminds me of the water and the sand. Very summery. And then two bookmarks and these are the savings challenges that go with the binders and actually she sent me one blank one so I appreciate that <clears throat> so I one of them is going to be a thousand dollars savings challenges so that's split up into 25 and then the next one is going to be just 25 week savings challenges one through uh, 25 and that's going to equal 325 so yay thank you and then oh so many freebies I love it thank you two envelopes how cute I love these prints and you know I'm I was like all about this one thank you so much <clears throat> sorry my voice sounds a little weird I think it's allergies is like getting me I'm not sick again I hope not oh my gosh knock on wood Okay, so these are the little, this is a thank you, um, these are the little binders, I'm so excited. So this is the first one, and it's got the butterflies on it and on the back, and it includes this little strap to hold everything together, super cute. Oh, I like how you put this on here, that's cool because sometimes it can be a little hard to put over her top. So just a little flip through. These are all like different colors. 
And let's see, which side do they open? Is it this? Oh, that's the cover. Duh. Oh my god. <gasps> so they open up like that. So very cute. I like that. And then I got this one. which is a Christmas one. Look how cute. I couldn't resist. I originally was gonna get like a traditional one, but I really like the pink. It had such pretty patterns on it. I especially like this pattern. Very beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much, Alba. I can't wait to use them. I'm not sure which, I'm, which one I'm gonna start first. But yeah, so that's my happy mail. Thank you so much, girl. I really appreciate all the freebies. And I can't wait to use these in my book. Now let's get into laying down these stickers. So I always get my, I usually get my stickers for an exception of last month from Carla May. So this is all her, this is her handle. She's by Carla May on YouTube, Coffee, um, Patreon, Instagram and also TikTok. So that's her little thank you card. And then this time around, it's like a beautiful floral. And I accidentally ordered two. I meant to get the date dots, but I must have messed up. So, oops, we'll figure that out. So my Goals for this month is 10 no spends. By the way, this is what my May looked like. Insane. I said 15 no spends and I did six. <laughs> so definitely next year I know May is a big spending month because of my birthday, my boyfriend's birthday. There's just so much going on in May. So this month I'm gonna try 10 no spends and one designated spending day. So maybe I'll save it for the end of the end of the month and see how that works out to combat some of my overspending. And then I want to stick to my Sarah's Day workouts and complete all my monthly savings. So that's what it's looking like for the month of um, June. I also said launch date. Um, I also said launch date here. I would like to launch my coin purses soon so be on the lookout for that I will definitely announce it so we're gonna go ahead and answer some of these questions as I'm setting up my month so the first question comes to me from my good friend Quinta from um, I'm already messing this up well that's going to be how it is. Um, my good friend Quinta from Budget Cutie. And she asked me, what is a dream you absolutely have to achieve? And one of my dreams that I absolutely have to achieve would have to be seeing the pyramids in Egypt. I grew up studying Egyptian culture and I really loved um, the makeup that they used to do, the way they dressed, and I would just love to see the pyramids for myself in person. I think that would be the most amazing thing. Um, and her second question is, what is your guilty pleasure uh, series or movie? So I think definitely like <laughs> My guilty pleasure would have to be like some of like the cult classic movies. Like my favorite, one of my favorite movies is Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's like totally cheesy and probably like not the best movie, but I just love it so much. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, go ahead and leave me a lipstick or lips emoji. I would love to see if there's any more Rocky Horror Picture Show people out there. Alright, so I did have this oopsie bag 
um, thing that I got from Carla May, and I don't, I think this is from a, for a different month, but I think it'll be like pretty close. So let's use that, and let's start on the right day, cause yeah, we don't want to accidentally put the wrong thing if I can get to it. Okay, so it starts on Wednesday and it goes to the 30th. Okay, so the next question starts off um, with Mystic Budgets, Mel from Mystic Budgets, and she asked, what's your idea of a perfect date? So my idea of a perfect date would honestly just be something like uh, active, like if it was like going rock climbing or going to a winery. I just like something that's like an activity because I mean it's nice to be home but if it's like a perfect date I think going out and doing something would be a lot of fun and then you know taking a stroll in a nice park or something and just being cute you know the sap in me for sure. And then her second question was, where do you see yourself in five years? And it's funny because I actually made this little um, thing for in five years I'll be. And it says, credit card, debt free, strong and fit, a successful business owner, and traveling stress free. I love to travel. so. Just being credit card debt free, I think I would be able to travel a lot more. I need to put this in my wallet. It's like a, I want it to be like a dashboard. So I gotta poke holes. It's already laminated and everything. That's just something I need. And then her last question is if you could live in any state, city, where would it be? And I think I would live. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been to many states, and the states that I have been in, like, I wouldn't live there. <laughs> but I don't know. For some reason, my heart's feeling like I should go to North Carolina. I have cousins that live in North Carolina, and when I visited them, we went hiking to, like, beautiful waterfalls. And I really enjoy hiking, and I feel like that would be the perfect area for me to go hiking. So... That's probably where I'd end up be, like end up going if um, I don't know if there was a job opportunity for sure, or even um, Colorado would be fun too because I just love the scenery. Although I've never been there, so I can't say that like I would love you know I would want to live there. But those are two states that I would love to visit and see if it would be something I'd want to live there for. So these are coming along nicely. I think it's it's a little darker, but I can, I like it. I like the pink. I'm not I can't remember what it was um before. I might have to do like two parts because y'all I have a lot of questions and I appreciate it so much. <clears throat> I'm just gonna finish these and we'll get right back to it. Okay, so the next one is from Amethyst Budgets, and she asked, how many tattoos do you have, and what was the first one? So I have 10 tattoos, and then you've mostly seen this fox in my videos, um, but I have, I have also the Goku one that I can show you. Those are like really the only ones that I can show you. Maybe the, nope, <laughs> my arm won't reach that far. Um, I have like a hat, like a Mad Hatter's hat, a bunny that I got from Friday the 13th, a diamond, a triangle, a swan, um, an arrow, an earth symbol, and a key with like a chain that says, has an envelope that says sealed with a kiss. Um, if that's something you're interested in, I would love to do like a, a tattoo kind of vlog, just 
it be thick it would be fun but my first tattoo was the key and if I remember I'll put the picture up of the tattoo but I have since then added to it but it was just a simple uh, skeleton type of key like old key with like a heart next question is by Jessica from budgeting or budget with Chanel let me make sure that's right yes budget with Chanel she said do you consider yourself an introvert and or an extrovert and I think I consider myself an extrovert with introvert tendencies if that makes any sense um, I love talking to people and I also um, enjoy having conversations like if but I am a little bit introverted starting out talking to people because I'm pretty shy but once you get me talking I you know we have a good conversation uh, so I don't really like to stay inside I always like doing something so definitely um, extroverted in that aspect so now I'm just gonna lay down my bill do stickers I'm not gonna write anything in I'm probably gonna do that off camera just so I mean this is probably gonna be a long video in itself but yeah I'll do it off camera so you don't have to watch it in real time so let's see this is on the fourth um, that's really crooked Okay, so the next question is by um, Addicted to Saving, and she said, what are some of your favorite animes? And my favorite anime, <laughs> one of them is Sailor Moon, as you can see from my May spread. I also love Cardcaptor Sakura, Soul Eater, Fairy Tale, Tokyo Ghoul, um... Rosario Vampire, Seven Deadly Sins, just to name a few. I, I really enjoy a lot of different animes and I don't really have a style. I like dark animes, uh, like Soul Eater and Tokyo Ghoul, but I also like adventure ones like Fairy Tales, Seven Deadly Sins, um, and then like rom-coms, which is like Rosario Vampire, Sailor Moon. Um, so I like all different kinds of things. Let's see. Next question. 17. And um, thank you to those that answered my Instagram. If you want to follow me in real time, go ahead and follow me at my Instagram. X, Ren underscore cat X. Very uh, old school with the X's. <laughs> All right, so let's keep with the anime themed so far. Yeah. Uh, question from Balance and Budget. Favorite cosplay character? What got you into budgeting? Favorite color? So favorite cosplay character is um, Sailor Moon, Usagi from Sailor Moon. Um, just because I can kind of relate with to her because I am a bit of a crybaby but um, I will stand up for myself when time t when it's needed and also who want, who doesn't want to be a magical girl <laughs> and what got you into budgeting I actually randomly on my news feed like you know suggestions they suggested pink X budgets video and I watched it and I was very intrigued by it and that's kind of like what got me into it um, but yeah I feel like a lot of people um, get into it from pink X budgets I don't know for some reason YouTube just put all of her videos in my face <laughs> which is a good thing because the I never really realized how much fun this was until I saw that video. So thanks to her, she's what got me into budgeting. 
And then my favorite color is red. And just to kind of go along with that, Budgets with Bess also asked me what motivated you to start budgeting. Honestly, what motivated me was just, um, it looked really fun and a fun way to get out of debt <laughs> because I was just putting money on my card but also spending money at the same time. Like I felt like it was a never ending cycle. So I definitely um, thought it would be a nice idea to do cash stuffing and I saw her budget, um, Pink X Budgets doing her videos and I said, why can I not do that? It would be a good way to keep myself accountable and document my journey. So that's basically why I st was motivated to start a YouTube. So that's pretty much it in terms of my thing. Um, I will put these boxes down. I like in the notes section to put, um, it's kind of like my weekly check-in in a way because I like to put groceries, gas, and sinking funds, and it just shows me each week like what I'm spending. So I will do that. And then my paydays. So my bank has moved my paydays to Wednesday, so now I get paid on Wednesdays, which is why I was like, oh my god, I have to figure out my paycheck because I'm getting paid today, which when I'm filming this, it will be Tuesday, but when you see it, it'll be Wednesday. And then this is actually my magic month. Yay! So exciting. So I get three paychecks in June, and I'm very, very happy because... I have an upcoming trip to Las Vegas in July and I really need to focus on that and I will definitely, that's not something that was planned way in advance so I definitely need to hustle to, to save up for that. But that's pretty much what, look, what my June spread looks like. Honestly, I might have to do two parts. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a super long video. So I'm going to stop it here and my next video will be on Thursday. And we'll see how many parts to it I get because I didn't expect me to take so long <laughs> just setting up my June spread. So tune in tomorrow for the rest of the questions and also the rest of my spread. I'll talk to you tomorrow. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below. Um, any other questions you want me to answer in another video, if you want another video with Q&A. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and I, I will greatly appreciate it. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye.